हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ रेकरेंस रिलेशन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई बी गिविंग यू शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू द प्री रिक्वेज दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू द न्यू मेथड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू टू सॉल्व द रेकरेंस रिलेशन सो लेट एस सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव सीन वॉट आर रेकरेंस रिलेशन विच आर जनरली ऑफ टू टाइप्स होमोजीनियस रेकरेंस रिलेशन एंड नॉन होमोजीनियस रेकरेंस रिलेशन or in homogeneous recurrence relations right okay now each of the two type can be solved by method of iteration or by method of characteristic roots now a new method that i shall be soon introducing to you is generating function method okay with this method you can again solve homogeneous recurrence relation or a non homogeneous recurrence relation okay now before i introduce you to this method there are certain standard summations that you should know because it will be very helpful while solving generating function method and the recurrence relations okay so these are some of the standard ones i am giving you some of the important summations that are required these stars are the important one according to me now the first one you should know it's a finite expansion for 1 minus x to the power m plus 1 upon 1 minus x okay the second and third are very important according to me as they frequently arise in solving of the problems so 1 upon 1 minus x is nothing but its expansion is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on so if you try to write it summed it would be summation x raised to n where n goes from 0 to infinity and the one of the most important condition that you need to remember over here is that mod x is less than 1 okay that's regarding convergence but it's okay over here so you just remember this expansion and the uh uh compact form of the same so whenever you encounter this 1 upon 1 minus x you can write it as 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on okay now the third one is derived from this itself you just replace x by minus x you obtain this expansion 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on but the se series that you can write it would be slightly different it would be summation minus of 1 to the power n times x to the power n where n goes from 0 to infinity okay so these are power series actually we will soon see what are they now these remaining three c uh, uh, expansions that you can see it is for 1 upon 1 minus x the whole square this is the series okay the fifth one is nothing but the binomial expansion but the terms are slightly different it is 1 plus x to the power m whole raised to n okay and uh, the sixth one is slightly important to us because you may encounter it very frequently while solving uh, recurrence relation using generating functions so it, you have to remember this formula it is observe the pattern in the formula over here it is 1 plus n minus 1 choose 1 okay times x 2 plus n minus 1 choose 2 into x square plus and so on r plus n minus 1 choose r times x to the power r what you need to observe over here the coefficients of x along with the powers of x okay now i am sure that you are familiar with this notation n choose 2 n choose r n choose n okay it is the combinatorial notation for ncr or uh, what you call it combinations okay so it is the notation for combinations that which you are familiar with this was written to you maybe in lower classes or high school level you might be writing this as ncr now the advanced notation would be n choose r and you write it in a bracket in these parentheses okay few more uh, expansions are there which are very standard expansions in world of mathematics the seventh one you see over here is 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on up to n okay 
so summation k runs from k equals to 1 to n okay so and it is summed for k so what does it talk about it is nothing but the total of first n natural numbers is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 okay now the eighth one that you see is the total of the squares of the first n natural numbers it is given by n into n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 okay the ninth one that you see over here is the sum of the cubes of the first n natural numbers that is nothing but n square times n plus 1 the whole square divided by 4 okay now i would like to make one small observation over here observe the seventh and the ninth one it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to n and the answer is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 okay for the ninth one it is the cubes of the first n natural numbers are added but the answer that you see is nothing but the square of the seventh answer okay so it is nothing but the n square times n plus 1 the whole square divided by 4 there is a very famous identity related to this we can see it in some another video lecture but for time being you can note this fact okay so remember all these nine expansions or the summations and their compact forms that i have given to you it will be really really helpful to you while solving recurrence relations using generating function method okay so i shall soon see you with the method of ge uh, generating functions to solve recurrence relations in my next video lecture please go through all the summations and uh, uh, then we shall meet, uh, see the next video lecture for the problem solving part okay so till then thank you